Uh, my name is Josh Jagels. Uh, I work for Wildlife and Parks at the Mead Fish Hatchery. Uh, how many of you ever heard of the Mead State Fish Hatchery? How many of you ever heard of Mead? The town. Okay, more of you. How about Mead State, uh, Mead State Lake, the state park? Oh, Mead State. You guys ever been there? I have. Okay. If you've been there, the fish hatchery is just west of there. You probably drove by it and didn't realize what it was. Okay. Uh, and if you would, we'll have time to answer all kinds of questions and things like that at the end. Okay. So when I'm showing you stuff, I'll talk to you a little bit about it. Uh, and then we can answer questions when I'm all done. All right. Now, I understand that the theme is water. Okay. How many of you use water for something? Okay. What do you use water for? Drinking, brushing your teeth, bathing, washing dishes, okay, laundry, things like that, swimming in the water. Okay, well I'm going to show you some animals today that uh, require water uh, to live, and actually live in the water or near the water, and some animals that actually don't uh, necessarily live in the water or near the water, but uh, they're just really cool, so I'm just going to show you some of these things, okay? Is everybody ready to learn something? Okay, or at least see something. Maybe you'll take something away from this today. Okay, the first thing, of course, is the obvious things that you see. Okay, swimming around in this tank right here. Does anybody know what these are on this side? Tadpoles. Okay, they are tadpoles. What do they turn into? Frogs. Frogs, right? Okay, now you notice they're swimming around in the water. Okay, they have to live in the water as a tadpole. Does anybody know why that is? So they can grow. Well, they grow, but what, what, what do they have? Is they, they, are, they do have gills, okay? And they have gills inside their bodies. Do frogs have gills? No. No, what do they have? Lungs. Lungs, right? And these, the bigger tadpoles that are in this aquarium are bullfrog tadpoles. Okay? They're, they're the largest frog in Kansas. Uh, you notice there's one bigger bullfrog tadpole in here. You notice he's actually got legs in the back. I can stop moving around for a second. Do you see his legs? Okay, he's already starting to turn into a frog. Okay? They normally start out getting back legs first. And when we're done today, you'll get to come by and see all these things. I know it's hard to see these, uh, these smaller animals that I have. But if you look at their mouth, and you just barely see it, it's very small, isn't it? Okay? It's just, a, it's just a little round disc, and you'll, you can see them when, when you come up today. You'll see the mouth. It's on the bottom uh, of their body, too, kind of. What do you think they eat? No? They, they eat things that are in the water. They actually eat plant matter. They eat algae. What they do is they use that little mouth that has a little disc of little bitty teeth in there, and they just kind of grind algae off of rocks, plants, uh, the bottom, uh, anything that's in the water that has algae growing on it. You're going to see a difference when you see the frog as to what their diet is. A little bitty tadpole in here is a, uh, is a leopard frog tadpole. You notice it has little back legs too. And it'll kind of jump in my hand and kind of move around. It has the same diet. So 
he'll use them to swim in the water, correct? Okay. He also uses those big back legs to jump, to get away from predators. Okay. What about his front legs? Look at his look at his front feet. What's the difference? They aren't wedged. He doesn't really use his front feet to swim. He propels himself with his back legs. His front feet are normally used for catching prey or trying to get away. They're really short and stumpy. Okay. Now, if you look at his his head, okay, I showed you the mouth of the tadpole. Really small, right? Okay.